All right, good morning and happy Wednesday. Keep calm and read two million words. What are those, Mr. Rivas? Those are sweatshirts that teachers' classes have earned for them. Mr. JB's class this year has read 5.5 million words. He gets a sweatshirt. Ms. Ramos, 4.6 million words. She gets a sweatshirt. Ms. Morrison, 4.3 million words. Ms. Rodriguez, 3.9 million words. Mr. Coots, 2.5 million words. Ms. Bruno, she already got her sweater, 2.3 million words. Ms. Hodges and Ms. Della Majori's class, each 2 million words. Ms. Barminsky, your class only needs 27,000 more words to get to 2 million. Mr. Barry, 78,000 more words to get to 2 million. And Ms. Branco's class, 246,000 words. This goes through the end of the year. Well, let's, cut, let's do the cutoff May 15th. And students, we're going to have prizes and stickers and certificates for you if you've read 100,000 words, 200,000 words, 300,000 words, and that will go through May 15th, okay? May 15th, we're gonna call that the cutoff date because let's call it what it is. Sometimes it takes me a little while to get the prizes out, so I need a little bit of a cushion there, all right? May 15th is the cutoff, and we will do more announcements in just a little bit. Uh, if you didn't know, remember, there's no student birthdays, but it's Coach D's birthday today. So if you log into his class this morning, wish him a happy birthday. And if not, tomorrow you can wish him a one-day belated happy birthday, all right? I'm going to go see if I can find some teachers to take a picture with their sweater. See you later. All right, Mr. JB came to claim his keep calm and read two million words, although I, I need to put a Sharpie and write five million words, but that's okay. Mr. JB is going to get something else later. Congratulations, Mr. JB and Mr. JB's class. Thank you. And there's Ms. Ramos with her keep calm and read two million words. Good job, Ms. Ramos and Ms. Yeah. Ramos' class. Woo -woo. Good job. All right, another two million word sweater claim. Congratulations, Ms. Rodriguez and Mrs. Rodriguez's class. Woohoo! Nice job. All right, and now we're on tangent time. Who's this, Mr. Rivas? Well, I'm not going to tell you. She's going to tell you. Hi, everyone. My name is Mrs. Sandu. I'm here in the Vintage office. I'm the mental health therapist at Sunny Slope Elementary. I uh, provide counseling, um, just a safe place to talk with students and teachers. So please come by, visit, knock on the door, and we can have a chat. We can just hang out, relax a little bit, get to know each other. Anything else you want to add? I don't think so. I think that's good. All right, then on to part 27 of our morning announcements. All right, and the concluding part of our morning announcements is in Mrs. Fontaine's fifth grade classroom. There's a group, and Mrs. Aguilar is about to read the origami story. What? What what I miss? Oh, everybody wave. Okay, so now we're wrapping up. So I found out from Sarah Vista, their 70 million word goal was including AR. So our AR numbers and footsteps of brilliance numbers are at 55 million with almost 40 million of those being footsteps of brilliance. And you saw some teachers win or earn their sweaters. Okay, so here we go. Today's joke. We'll see if anybody in Miss Fontaine's class will get it. And we have Miss Aguilar and Miss Fontaine. They're super smart. All right, today's joke. How can you keep someone in suspense? How can you keep someone in suspense? I guess it helps if you know what the word suspense is. It means like, how do you keep somebody waiting for a while? How do you keep them on the edge of their seat? Like, what are you gonna say, Mr. Rivers? What are you gonna say? All right, how do you keep someone in suspense? Anybody wanna make a guess? Anyone, Bueller? Bueller? All right, well, you know what? Never mind. then I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay, uh, and then today's fun fact. <laughs> They got it. I'll tell you tomorrow. I'm really not going to tell you tomorrow. Okay. And today's fun fact, the most puppies ever born, as you can tell, Perla was on the ground when I was doing this one. The most puppies ever born to one dog at the same time. Anybody know this? 14. 14. Anybody? 12. 24. 24 puppies at the same time. Yeah. Uh, the two moms in here are cringing, thinking 24. Holy cow. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today because I already did all the other morning announcements. Remember these words on this Wednesday, which is like, you know, Wednesday, that I believe in you, all of your teachers, and Mrs. Aguilar, they all believe in you, and we know that together we can do anything. Hey, not bad. Anything. I was a little worried because Mr. Fontaine's afternoon group takes a little while to warm up. So nice job. Ladies and gentlemen, have an amazing day. Happy Wednesday. See you tomorrow.